Indigenous leaders are calling for Conservative Senator Lynn Bayak to resign after making what some are calling racist remarks. Bayak previously said that an abundance of good had come from residential schools. And just last week, Bayak suggested that First Nations people should trade in their status cards and become Canadian citizens, something they already are. Now, I would love to shoot my mouth off over this, but as a white male over 40, I've learned that the best thing to do when discussing Indigenous matters is not to talk, but to listen. So I am joined by Assembly of First Nations National Chief Perry Belgard. Chief, good evening. <laughs> good evening, Mark. Well, when speaking of residential schools, something that the vast majority of Canadians see as one of the darkest periods of our history, Senator Bayek says we shouldn't let mistakes overshadow the good things that happened before she said that. I couldn't imagine a worse place to be educated than a residential school. Now I'm thinking, where the hell was she educated? You tried to educate Senator Bayek by sending her a book? I did. I sent her a book called uh, National Crime, really well research book by John Malloy, but obviously she's not an avid reader. <laughs> she don't think she read it? I don't think she read it. She's still making those crazy comments. All I can say about Senator Bayak, you know, we start talking about Reconciliation Canada, she really puts the wreck in reconciliation. So that's all I'm going to say on that. Justin Trudeau spoke at the UN last week. He admitted that Canada has failed its Indigenous people and vowed to do more to achieve reconciliation. Now, one uh, nation gave Trudeau the name the one who keeps trying. Should he be given another name, the one who keeps talking? Is he doing enough? Well, again, we, it's, it's, it's unheard of that a national leader has ever talked at the United Nations about uh, Indigenous peoples the great length of time that he did. I think it had a 30-minute speech. 20 minutes was dedicated to Indigenous issues. So if you want to lead on an international stage, it's good to tell the true history and the complete history of Canada. And that's what he did. They gave him the name, the one who keeps trying. What would Senator Bayek's name be? <laughs> um, can't say it on TV? I can't say it on TV, Mark. I can't say it on TV. How about sitting idiot, I think, would work. Trudeau also said that there is good news after all this time, and that is that Canadians get it. Do we? Do Canadians get it? I think Canadians get it. I think Canadians are great people, right? I go from coast to coast to coast, and, and people want to say, hey, it's a rich country. We should not have First Nations communities that don't have access to potable drinking water. You know, you need water to live. It's not acceptable. So everybody across Canada gets that. And they want to make sure that we have good education for our kids, good health care. So Canadians are fantastic people. They get it. Chief, thank you for coming on to talk about this important issue. Thanks, Mark. I was going to say the, uh, the biggest uh, hit on Google search probably in the last year was, how do you remove a sitting senator? <laughs> yeah, I dare say. I dare say. <laughs> National Chief Perry Bellegarde, everybody. Thanks, Mark. Don't miss all these new 22-minute sketches on our all-new YouTube channel. Subscribe to 22 Minutes now.